The victim of a near-fatal chimpanzee mauling, 55-year-old Charla Nash remains in critical condition fighting for her life. Her attacker, Travis the Chimp, had been kept as a pet by his human companion before he finally lashed out at her best friend. It took that horrific event to do what animal advocates have wanted for years, usher in legislation that puts an end to the interstate trafficking of primates. Meantime, a new scandal tonight, this one at one of the biggest laboratories in the entire country, where an undercover investigator from the Humane Society videotape what critics describe as rampant and violent abuse of primates at that research facility that goes well beyond rough handling. Joining me with the gruesome details, Mike Michael McCarrion, Executive Vice President of the Humane Society of the United States. And just a word of caution, some of the video in this segment probably inappropriate for young children. In fact, it's so disturbing, we can't show you the worst of it. Mark, your undercover investigator came in as an employee wearing a hidden camera. What were some of the worst things that he saw? Well, Jane, the investigator from the Humane Society of the United States spent nine months undercover at the New Iberia Research Center in Louisiana. Uh, one of the largest primate research labs in the country, and she witnessed physical abuse of primates, you know, monkeys being, being hit, uh, struck on their teeth, and uh, sedated while they were on high perches so that they fell to the hard concrete. But what was perhaps the worst was seeing animals driven to self-mutilation, the psychological abuse that these animals go through, being in isolation in small cages. Many of them were tearing at their skin and their flesh with their hands. They had gaping wounds in their arms and legs, and it was just terrible to see them literally driven mad. Oh, and we're going to be showing you uh, websites and emails where you, if you're upset about this, there's a place you can write, National Institute of Health, and uh, we're going to put up those emails so you can uh, t write to your government, because it's your tax dollars here, people, your tax dollars. Here's an example of the brutal treatment of the primates in the uh, New Iberia Research Center. And um, another reminder, this video, very graphic. When protocol says you can't use sedation, the monkeys are yanked out of their cage and forced into a restraint chair. Oh my gosh. Oh. What do you want happen? I, I know National Institutes of Health is investigating. What should be done here? Should people be fired? Should there be new procedures put in place? Well, Jane, several federal agencies have an intersection here. The U.S. Department of Agriculture enforces the Animal Welfare Act. We found through our investigation what we believe were 338 violations of the Animal Welfare Act. And Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack has announced that they are conducting a, an immediate and thorough investigation. We're very pleased they're taking this seriously. But the NIH... Right. Has a policy that bans the breeding of chimps. All right, we yeah, can't get we into that tonight, on. but uh, that's their, they're saying they did nothing wrong. You know what? You have eyes, you judge for yourself, America. Michael, thank you so much. Thank